man, things just keep getting worse and worse and worse for woke SJW Disney. So it's gotten so bad. Their finances have fallen so bad. Their finance, their financial situation has just plummeted so badly that they're now having to turn their Disney empire into an IP yard sale. Yeah, things are not looking good. It seems like the uh, Disney CEO, Bob Iger, is not really having all the time of his life right now. He's uh, not experiencing the magic, apparently. Uh, it says here on this article by uh, Bloomberg, Bob Iger shifts from building an empire to a Disney yard sale. Netflix just uh, had its best month in years, and Disney is still looking to sell is looking to sell its TV assets. What does that mean for the future of Hollywood? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, continuing on in the article, sorry, continuing in the article, Bob Iger shifts from building an empire to a Disney yard sale. Bob Iger built Disney into the world's most powerful entertainment company by acquiring Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm. Now he's looking to downsize. Uh, Iger put roughly a third of the company up for sale this week, declaring Disney's linear TV assets non-core. That includes TV networks ABC, FX, and Freeform. He also said that Disney is looking for a strategic partner for ESPN, though he's not willing to sell the whole thing. And the company is already looking to sell and restructures TV and streaming services or services in India. Yeah, selling ABC like that, like that channel somehow worth anything. Yeah, uh, but I mean it's gotten that bad says in the article continuing on it's a stunning inevitable turn of events for an executive who spent most of his career much of his career working in tv <laughs> oh yeah no not very good at that uh and for a company that relied on cable networks for the majority of its profit before the pandemic oh we're still going after the pandemic disney's media networks uh generated 35 percent or 24.8 dollars or 24.8 billion dollars of company revenue and more than 50 percent or 7.5 billion of its off operating income yet the accelerating decline of cable tv has limited Iger's options he thought he'd uh, solve this problem with disney plus and hulu his two mass market streaming services but his streaming business is expected to register a loss of around 800 million dollars and the company's uh, just ended third quarter yeah it's not been good for disney plus management uh chase streaming subscribers or sorry management chased streaming subscribers at uh unsuitably low prices to goose the launch of disney to the goose launch of disney plus in 2019 and is now seeking to raise the prices without alienating customers oh yeah like that's a good idea disney plus lost four million subscribers last quarter yeah i did a video on that it's not been good their uh, streaming service has not uh gone as planned to say the least uh continuing on in the article says, Iger put up a for sale sign during an interview with CNBC in Sun Valley, Idaho, home to the annual summit of the media and tech elite organized by investment uh, bank Allen & Co. The conference has long served as an incubator for some of the media industry, industry's most high profile deals and a source of endless photos of executives uh, walking the uh, pad whatever, I mean, not good at reading some stuff on a computer. Uh, yeah, it's not clear how uh, serious Iger is in selling TV networks, ABC, for example, the key to retaining NBA rights. FX has become a key supplier in, of programming to Hulu, which Iger plans to keep and fold into Disney Plus. Yet Iger's CNBC interview is unmistakably a distress signal. Disney is contractually obl obliged to buy Comcast Corp's one third stake in Hulu in a deal that would value the business at least uh, $27.5 billion. It's also wrestling with colossal debt pile streaming from its 71.3 billion acquisition of 20th century fox in 2019 yeah that was a uh, shooting himself in the foot for sure uh but i mean just nothing good nothing good has come from the financial aspect when it comes to news about disney nothing good at all it's just been losses here you know movies bombing left and right at the box office park attendance ever ever you know ever so declining i mean just nothing good you know could they go out of business i don't know you know but the problem is is that Iger is, is trying to find these solutions when really he's the one that caused a lot of these problems in the first place. You know, he's the one that was, you know, pushing all this stuff in. I mean, he, he built the empire. Now he's having to basically sell it, you know, essentially sell every asset they can to make a quick buck. Essentially, I've heard it put this way, that they're essentially at a point where they're, they're dumping, you know, turning over the, uh, the couch cushions, trying to find any extra change or whatever else because they're just that desperate. It's, it's that bad. But this is what happens when you go woke, you go broke. You know, it's not just, oh, the pandemic or this or that. No, you uh, go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. And woke SAW Disney has yet to learn that. They've gotten to a point where they think they're too big to fail. And hopefully this will become a humbling experience for them. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the brethren, goodbye.